I was a boy of 17 years old that Bobby Robson asked to, to start doing some statistics. It wasn't my idea to become a manager. I fell in love with what Bobby was doing. FIFA 21's career mode has had a massive overhaul. I'm talking wholesale changes that revolutionized the game mode and reflect the challenges facing an elite level manager. Being a huge career mode fan myself, I want some tips for taking on this year's version. So I'm gonna be picking the brains of one of the world's best managers, Andre Villas Boas, for a unique insight into top level management. Hello, Andre. Hi. How are you doing? I'm okay, thank you. What is the secret to being a great manager, do you think? Well, I think uh, you, you, you have to be able to convince. This is the most important thing because when players stop uh, believing that your method is the right method, that, that is when things can get uh, dodgy. And you have to be able to exploit the maximum in uh, each one of them. That is the key for me. So Career Mode now has a new schedule management feature, which lets me balance training and recovery. For you, how important is it to balance these two things and how difficult is it to do that? Yeah, they're very difficult. Obviously, you need always two days recovery from a match. Psychologically, it's better first day off. Uh, physiologically, it's better second day off. Sometimes they might feel more fatigued. And feeling more fatigued sometimes might even be psychological fatigue. Uh, than physical. So something that affected your morale that makes you think that you are more tired. So it's always important to uh, listen to the players every day. So in FIFA 21 career mode, you can now develop players to play in different positions. So during your time at Spurs, I think the most notable player that changed position was obviously Gareth Bale from left wing to a more central freer role. Um, how did you manage that transition? Well, in my first year in Tottenham, we reached a game where Ekoto was out. We had to choose between uh, Vertonghen and Gareth to play left back. And I called both of them aside and I said, listen, one of you two is going to play left back tomorrow. Hey boss, no, no, come on. No. <laughs> <laughs> both of them. <laughs> Gareth wasn't feeling that he was unlocking his full potential. So he, he came into my office one day and he said, boss, I'm not happy. And things are not going well for me. Okay, now I can try to change to 4-4-2 uh, and uh, you play free at, at top with Adebayor and uh, okay, I can move Sigurdsson off to the left coming in. And, and this is when he, he starts that run of games where he scores, I think, uh, five or six games in a row. Every, yeah, every game. And our results exploded and his career exploded from, from that moment on. With the new career mode match sharpness feature, I can now monitor uh, how mentally prepared a player is uh, for the game. Uh, how difficult is it for you to, to analyze this and how important is it to stay on top of, of a player's mental sharpness? Yeah, this is a little bit more tricky. There are some sports that have gradually introduced mental uh, training to improve on concentration and sharpness. It's something that in football is starting to happen a little bit, a little bit more. That depends on the flexibility of the, of the, of the player in question because um, you might have experienced players that have gone throughout their career without it and don't feel the need to do it. So I think it's a, it's an individual one. Also in FIFA new this year is the, the active training feature. So I can make uh, group training sessions where I can develop players with very specific needs. And how have you adapted training to develop a player's particular strength? And sometimes we do it by, by sectors, the attackers, the midfielders and the defenders. So, uh, for example, in the defenders, we can work on the line, on controlling depth, controlling space in behind. With the midfielders, we can work with uh, with mobility, and uh, with the attackers, we can work on finishing and, uh, and movements and combinations. With FIFA 21's new transfer and loan options, I now have basically more power than ever to create my perfect team. Has there been a player for you that's maybe got away that you were so close to, that you really wanted to sign, that you were close to sign, but you just couldn't quite get it over the line? That happens to you a lot. Something that you feel is going to change your team. Yeah. I can give you the examples of them because they are blatant. I think Daniel Levy won't appreciate it too much, but we had William in our office. We was watching the Champions League game together before he leaves the room and signs for Chelsea that night. Uh, we missed uh, Moutinho, which now became famous, of course, because of Wolves. Yeah, wow. We passed the deadline for one minute and we couldn't sign him in, in my first year in Tottenham. We really felt that uh, they could have given us the, um, the, extra, uh, the extra bit that season. And you can only see now that how their career has gone in uh, for, for, for both Chelsea and Wolves to see how important they could have been. But I'm guessing, has there ever been like a, maybe a loan or how important do you see loan options uh, so that have really made a difference? It's very rare that you do loans without an option to buy. We have two players here in Marseille that I can speak of. 
which represent precisely what you are saying, uh, which is Alvaro, our central defender, and, and Balerdi, also our central defender. And uh, we couldn't buy them in, in the first year when we approached them, but we are able to buy them on, the, on that second year. In FIFA 21, the opposition AI has been improved, so they are harder than ever to be. And in real life, do you feel like the global level has increased? Like there's no easy game against small opposition anymore? Mm, yeah, yeah, I can agree with you. Because team, teams prepare uh, more often, better. Uh, you have all the tools available also in terms of uh, analyzing of opponents. I mean, for example, we analyze a lot who loses more the ball. So um, this is available for any kind of, uh, of team you analyze. So this adds a little bit of surprise to each game. Uh, you never know what you're going to face. And um, and yeah, I, I, I believe that that uh, it's getting harder and harder to, uh, to win games, yeah. If you could give one piece of advice to a young Andre Villas-Boas who wanted to get into management um, before you started your manager career, what would your one piece of advice be? It's the knowledge of the game that will make you break through. There are a lot of things within the game that you can learn. So uh, watch a lot of football, watch a lot of games, uh, different leagues. Watching different leagues will give you a different perspective, different cultures, different tactics, different players. You will then be able to distinguish between what the coaches are doing. So this will bring you to a level of understanding of the game that is key for me. Andre, thank you so much for your time and, and for your insight. It was amazing. No problem. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Thank you. Nice one. See you soon. See you. Bye-bye.